Hi, I'm Tyler Bishop, and this is an episode of Ezoic Explains. Today, I'm going to show you how to bucket traffic properly into its respective channel inside of Google Analytics. One of the problems that publishers will often have with Google Analytics is that the traffic that you're seeing is not in its actual channel. So you may have traffic that's listed as referral or other, and it's actually showing up in the wrong places, whether it's paid, organic, social. And today I'm going to show you how to set up custom channels so that all this material falls into the right spot. So here I'm going to go into acquisition inside of Google Analytics over on my left-hand column. And then I'm going to go down to all traffic, and then I'm going to select channels. Once I've selected channels, look, remember, it's only going to be looking at my respective date range. So if I'm not seeing all the channels that I would like, I can also go through and select the date range that I would like. So in my case here, I'm going to click on other. Once in here, I can see that I've got a site speed campaign here. I've got some Bing traffic. I've got LinkedIn, Quora, Google. I've got all kinds of stuff in here that is already set with the source, but yet it is still marked as other. I can go over here to second, secondary dimension and I can select medium. And I can see that in many cases, these mediums are giving me a little bit more information about where this traffic is coming from. So I can see that this is a Facebook campaign for this respective uh, campaign that I'm running here. Uh, I can see that this is Bing and then this is organic. Uh, LinkedIn, this is paid traffic. So this is a LinkedIn ad. Uh, Bing, in this case, it says it's not set. It's most likely organic. So in my case, I'm looking at a lot of Bing and a lot of uh, Facebook campaigns and paid campaigns that are being wrongly attributed to other. So what I can do now is go over here to analytics and now I can select admin here in the settings. Once I've selected admin in my settings, I can go all the way over to property settings and then ultimately all the way over to channel settings. And I wanna do this at the view level. So you can always create a new view that's a duplicate of a previous one if you're worried that it's somehow gonna uh, misconstrue your data or set something up improperly. I'm going to go to channel groupings and you can see I've actually set up custom channels here. So this is a problem I've actually solved uh, previously on this site. And I'm going to go into custom channel groupings here and you can see I've created a whole bunch of new ones. So in my case, if I am working on new marketing channels or something like that, um, I can create a new custom channel grouping right here by clicking on define a new channel. Otherwise, I can edit existing ones. So for organic or for social, I can decide to attribute some of the traffic that I already have there. So let's use Bing as an example. So I click on edit organic search. So by default, I'm just gonna see this, system defined and then matches organic search. But in my case, if you remember before, I wanted to match source medium Bing organic traffic to this as well. So you can see here I've selected source medium and then I put exactly matches and then as I start to type Bing what's going to happen is I'm going to get this result here. So it'll look like this and then when I go to type Bing it's going to give me multiple options here. So I can select O but because I have an instance where I have both Bing slash O and then Bing slash organic what I can do is say that it contains, which will give me both of those without having to create two separate ones. And you can do this other than just source medium. You may have a specific campaign, um, landing page URL, even keyword that you can associate to all these different channels. But in most cases, what you're going to be doing is looking at source medium and saying, hey, wait a minute, this is not actually other. This is a referral, or this is organic, or this is social traffic. And all you'll want to do is go in here and then click on your organic or social and then just add that source medium or source medium uh, as it contains or exactly matches category here. And that's it. Once you're done, you click done. Now, this is a really important one too. Click on save. And it'll tell you that it can take up to 24 hours for your changes to take effect and for it to be visible in your reports. But after that, you should be good to go. And from now on, you will have set up custom channel groupings and you'll see custom channels is a field inside of Google Analytics and your traffic will be better attributed to the places that it's supposed to be from. And that's been another episode of Ezoic Explains.